What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the video. Today we are going to be taste testing this right here. This is the new Plasma G Fuel flavor inspired by the new movie Morbius. So in terms of a flavor, what is this going to taste like? Well, G Fuel has said that it is simply just nectarine. That's literally it. They haven't said if it's a candy nectarine, a real nectarine. They just kind of said it's supposed to be a nectarine flavor and that's really all the information that we have gotten so far. Now with that being said, I did get some real nectarines to go ahead and try with this flavor to see how close the real ones actually taste to the G Fuel. But I couldn't find any nectarine drinks. There's lots of things like peach, but there's not many drinks that are nectarine. So I am actually wearing the Phase G Fuel jersey here, if you guys notice. It's really nice. I'm going to be honest with you. It's very nice, and it kind of works. I'm sponsored by G Fuel, sponsored by Seal Series, so it kind of works. I'm not sponsored by Nissan, but honestly, this thing is pretty nice. It's really soft. I like the colors. I think it was worth spending my rewards points uh, to pick it up. So if you guys do want to pick it up, it may or may not be available on the G Fuel rewards page. I will link that down below. G Fuel sometimes restocks it, but it looks like I think it is out of stock at this very moment when the video is going up. Also, just want to say a huge thank you to everybody using Code Shock recently. Code Shock is 30% off at the moment. So if you guys watch this video and decide if you want to pick up Plasma, it is 30% off. Also, the new Moon Knight Hydration. It's a blueberry acai. If you guys want to pick up that as well, that is available now. That just came out yesterday. Um, and also, I am trying to get my code 30% off for Divine Peach. G Fuel has said if we do really well right now with using Code Shock, we might be able to get it 30% off. So I just want to thank everybody for using it because it'll increase our chances of getting a 30% off period for Divine Peach because I know how hyped Divine Peach is. So I'm really trying hard to get my code 30% off for that flavor. All right, guys, this is what it looks like. So we've got Morbius exclusively in theaters. We've got the man himself right up there, G Fuel Energy Formula. You can see the shaker, the tub there. On this side, we've got energy, focus, endurance, and reaction, all that info there. And then on the other side, we've just got the Gamma Turbine. We've got 2021 Marvel, all rights reserved, blah, 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 all that good old copyright stuff. And then we've got another Morbius exclusively in theaters, G Fuel, another photo of him here. Um, and then we've got the bottom here as well. And finally, the top. Very simple collector's box. I must say, it's just kind of smoky and, you know, his face. Very, very simple in terms of the collector's box. But it does go with the theme of the movie, and that's what it's all about. Let's go ahead and pull out the shaker here. Let's also pull out the tub. And we actually get a sticker as well. Here is the sticker if you guys want to take a look at it. All right, next up, let's take a look at the shaker cup here, guys. So here's the shaker. It's got a teal top. That's actually kind of like the Shock Army shaker. It's got a teal top here. We've got uh, Morbius exclusively in theaters here. Uh, it's a fully black shaker, so you cannot even see through at all, to be honest. And then we've got the G Fuel logo energy formula here. We've got the top, we've got our pull tab here, and then we've got our insert, which is also teal. And then on the side here, if you guys don't know, we've got our ounces up to 16. And then on this side, we've got our milliliters up to 50, or 500, not 50. Not really the biggest fan of the shaker, but let me know what you guys think down below. Here is the tub. Let's get a good look at this. So we've got G Fuel, Energy Formula, Plasma, 15 calories, 40 servings. Take your scooper with your water, mix it up, get some energy. Yet again, a very, very simple top. I mean, look at this. There's literally nothing here. Like, we're empty. Like, this is a very, very simple top in terms of the art and everything about it. Um, Morbius exclusively in movie theaters, right there, as you can see. 
there's the top. Here is the bottom. Looks like this tub was actually made in January of this year. So that's when the tub was actually made, but the tub will last until 2025. And also, if you guys wanna take a look at the supplement facts or the ingredients label, here it is. There is some of those other ingredients right about here. There's the label. Here's some of the other text here, if you guys wanna take a look at that. Um, in terms of the color, it's looking like they're using yellow and red, so I would think that would make, what, like a, kinda like a nectarine color, right? I'm pretty sure. There it is, guys. There is the G Fuel Plasma Tub. That's what it looks like. Very simple. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you like it, do you think there needs to be more to it? Do you think it works just perfect for the movie? But let's go ahead and open this baby up. So I usually take my fingernails and I take them right across the cut here that G Fuel gives us. Gonna open up the tub here. And then we've got our easy peel seal. There we go. Look at that, we're lucky today. We've got our scooper right at the top. So there's our powder. It's got kind of an orangish tint to it, reddish tint. And then here is our scooper, ladies and gentlemen. Now this top part, I usually take it off. I'm gonna actually leave it on. Sometimes I take it off, sometimes I leave it on. Uh, I, I, I need to stop taking it off all of my scoopers because sometimes I actually do want it. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it on this one, but you actually only wanna fill it right to here. So before we actually go ahead and get a scoop of this and mix it up, let's get a smell. It's almost kinda like sage mode. Which sage mode, it's like oh, sage mode or wumpa kinda smell. I would say that it smells very similar to wumpa, which is an apple mango but obviously I think it has less apple, but I don't know why I'm kind of getting a mango smell, but this is a nectarine flavor. I don't know, really weird. I'm almost getting a mangoey smell from it. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get a scoop of this and get mixing. So here is my shaker, 16 ounces of water, a few ice cubes. That's what I prefer to do when I make my G Fuel. And then here we go. We've got one scoop going in here, guys, to our shaker. Very interesting. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really thought this flavor was gonna be more themed towards the movie, but it's actually more themed towards the flavor. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the color of this for the movie should be like a teal or whatever kind of greenish teal this is. That's kind of what I feel the color should be, but they just went full out like nectarine, you know? All right guys, so I just finished mixing it for about 30 seconds to a minute and this is what it ended up looking like. It's kind of similar to sage mode and it's honestly a lot more orange than I thought it would be. It's the color of a real nectarine, and then here is the G Fuel nectarine. Honestly, I mean, it is kind of pretty close. In terms of the smell, actually, let's get a little bite of this right now. It's very odd. It's like kind of like a peach, but not really. It's weird. Let's go ahead and get a smell of the G Fuel flavor. That smells just like sage mode. What? That smells just like sage mode, I swear. Sage mode is a white peach. Hmm, I mean, there's it's similar to the nectarine, but this, dude, what? The G Fuel, I swear it smells almost like sage mode. Now, in terms of what a nectarine is supposed to taste like, it's supposed to be like a peach, but a little bit sweeter and more of like an aromatic taste to it, which that could be what I'm getting here because Sage Mode has white peach and a pomelo fruit. And both of those, the white peach and the pomelo fruit, are supposed to have a aromatic floral kind of smell and taste to them. And that's kind of the smell that I'm getting with this. It's kind of that floral kind of aromatic kind of smell kind of 
I don't know. All I can say is that it's kind of like sage mode in the smell, so kind of peachy with a little bit of a citrus smell to it. With some, like, aromatic floral notes. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the Plasma G Fuel Flavor Nectarine. Let's give it a go. Whoa. That is very, very light. That is very light. Um, I'm definitely getting some of that sort of aromatic, a little bit of like a floralness to it almost. Um, hmm. I do think it's good. However, it's almost kind of weird for some reason. I don't know. And I don't really get any like floral, strong aromatic taste from this real nectarine. But when I go and I have the G Fuel, hmm, I don't know. I mean, they're, the sweetness, I guess it's pretty close. The flavor is very interesting. I would say, I guess the sweetness is pretty close. I think this has more tartness in it than this. That's the first thing that I'm noticing. The real nectarine is more tart especially towards the middle, like that red section there. Of course, it depends on how ripe your nectarine is and where it's from and stuff like that. There's definitely more tartness in this real nectarine compared to the G Fuel. And then I'd also say that the G Fuel almost has a floral or very strong aromatic kind of feel to it that the real nectarine does not have. A lot of people were also worried that this was going to taste like hive nectar. I personally don't think this is very close to hive nectar. Hive nectar is very citrusy. This does not have much citrusness in it at all, to be honest. It's more just smooth. More just smooth and sweet and kind of peachy, but florally at the same time. Definitely very hard to explain. I mean, if you guys are new to G Fuel, what I would say is this is kind of like a peach, but not as, it doesn't have, if you, if you guys have never had nectarine or anything, I would say this is kind of like a real peach, but it's got some floral aromatic like notes to it. It's really kind of odd to be honest with you. This is more of what I imagined Sage Mode would have tasted like, to be honest. I really like this flavor, but I feel like that aromaticness or something that I'm getting just kind of throws me off. Like, it, it's kind of like the Kiwi in Mango Kiwi. So in the Mango Kiwi G Fuel flavor, the mango is amazing, but the Kiwi just kind of, I don't know, the Kiwi has such a prominent feel to it that I don't like it for that reason. And I'm kind of getting the same thing with this. I love like that nectarine peach taste, but then there's like that aromatic floral kind of note or something. I, I don't know exactly what it is. That's the best way that I could describe it right now that I'm getting in here that keeps me from really ranking this high or near hive nectar or near um, sage mode, to be honest with you. All right, guys, so tier list. Where is the plasma flavor going to go? Well, I don't think this is going to be up in the god tier with Hive Nectar Sage Mode at all, okay? There's a reason why Sage Mode and Hive Nectar and all these other flavors are up in the god tier. It's because they have a balance, right? Sage Mode would not be as good as it is if it was just white peach. It would just kind of be sweet and yeah, it's, but, but, but it has a citrus and a factor to it with the white peach that makes it very good and makes it stand out and balances it and just really makes it my literally my most favorite flavor at the moment. Um, you need a balance in order for a flavor to be one of the best. That's what I have learned when it comes to all these G Fuel flavors that we have tried over the years. And that's where this one kind of falls a little short. Um, so in terms of a tier list, I don't think this one is going to be in the God tier. 
It's, I think it is going to be in the really good category. Now, where is it going to go in my really good category? Okay, what I know is I would have this over Crimson Tears, but I wouldn't have it over the one. So for that reason, I'm going to place the Plasma flavor for right now, right above Crimson Tears, uh, which is in my really good category. And that's gonna give it about, I would say, an 8.1 out of 10 for the Plasma G Fuel flavor. It's a good flavor, but I don't think it's amazing and I don't think it tastes very special. Um, it just kind of tastes like a good, decent G Fuel flavor that kind of needs more for it to feel special and be better. It's kind of like the same with Crimson Tears for me. Crimson Tears is a prickly pear and it's good, but it's just very simple and, um, you know, and I'm glad for G Fuel flavors like those and I like them. But at the end of the day, I feel like to make a really good G Fuel flavor, you do need, you need a balance. You need that sweet and that citrus and the tartness. You need all of that to make an amazing flavor. And flavors like this one in Crimson Tears, I feel like they just don't have it all, but they are very good and I feel like they're a great daily flavor, but they're not like every day for a year type of flavor. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to use code SHOCK so we can get ready for that divine peach G Fuel flavor because if enough of you guys use code SHOCK, G Fuel has said that they'll try to make my code 30% off for divine peach. So thank you to any of you guys that do pick up any G Fuel right now with code SHOCK for 30% off.